Uh -huh, Alrighty then! It, whoa, what was that noise? Whatever! This is Wentus yet again, and I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And, as you can see, I was facing the Owl Statue when I started out. That's because you can check these things, and they allow you to save your progress without reset, res resetting the days. Which is very useful. But it's only a quick save feature, so... Oh. Um... So, yeah, you don't want to rely on that too heavily. So, because, I keep on saying so. <laughs> the reason why you don't rely, want to rely on that too heavily is because since it's quick save. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go, perfect. I didn't want to accidentally use up the fairy without catching it. Um, but yeah, you do not want to uh, use that, rely on that too much because of the fact that it could cause trouble for you if you try to like turn off the game twice in a row without saving in between because then you not only lose both you lose back to your last save you actually lose all the three days it's just a quick save so be careful with that so um no um Yay, I can remember stuff! And this will bring up... We just got hit by the poison water. Yeah, this brings up... Woodfall Temple. When he said that opened up the temple... Yeah, it did more than open it! So, let's fly on over there. I. With this flower, it will give you just enough, so it'll make it look like you're not going to make it, but that's pretty much just a screw with you. As long as you keep holding forward, you'll make it just fine. So, here we are inside Woodfall Temple. And here, you well, for one, you may notice there's a stray fairy right in front of us, but it's kind of floating in the air there. How do we get it, you may ask? With that great fairy's mask that I said was very important very soon. You just put it on, and the fairies come right to you. So yes, you definitely want this Stray Fairies mask. Now down here, I believe enemies will spawn. Um, oh, yep, there they are. They're not much of a problem, though, because they're pretty easy to kill. But in this area, there, you may notice that the hair on the mask is still glowing. That means in this particular room, there is still a Stray Fairy. So, I... I think I know where the fairy is, and I'm pretty sure we can't get to it just yet. So, we're gonna go back into Deku form and fly around here. And this, I love the inside of the temples in these play in this game because they just look so cool. I, just the whole roots going through it. What is that noise? Why is it playing the battle music? Past? What are you doing? <sighs> Whatever. I th actually, I think the next fairy is inside that, so let's hit it, and it should fall. Uh, is that a fairy? Is that a fairy that came out? Let's a let's ask Tattle. That's a black. No, I'm not interested in that. Um, maybe I can use that thing to get a better angle to look. Uh, no, I can't. Well, there's one easy way to tell. Is it a fairy? No. All right, let's just go back to Deku then. Uh, okay, go that's better. Uh, <laughs> for a second there, the thing wasn't responding by letting me go inside the flower. Uh, I can make this, right? Okay, I can. Alright, now let's see. Um, I... Oh, no, don't, I said don't shoot. Alright, I know we can't hit those guys up there. They're too far away and they'll reflect our shots. So we're just gonna fly right past and ignore them. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Ugh, that's it. Wow, that was timing. Oh, that's it. This place stinks just like that poison swamp. <laughs> well, um, let's see. In all honesty, it's been a long time since I played this game, so I don't know the temples perfectly. And I'm going off of memory, so it isn't going to be... This isn't going to be flawless, to say the least. Oh, look, there's a fairy here. Well, that's useful. By the way, there are 15 fairies in every temple. You're definitely going to want to get them all. Trust me on that. Not only is it part of the 100%, but even if you aren't doing for 100% in this game, you want these fairies. So let's hop down here, and I believe there should be a fairy right here. Yep. 
See, my memory is... Oh, geez. No, 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 no. Make it back. See, my memory on this game isn't perfect, but I do know it fairly well. So, I am confident in this. So, um, let's go to this door next. Okay, these flowers here that you may have noticed, if you jump on them as a Deku, it's perfectly safe. But just to give an example of what happens if you jump on them as a human, it will bite you and drain your health very quickly. Oh, wait, it only just takes half a heart. And then it'll spit you out into the poison water, which is makes it actually pretty dangerous. So you don't want to get caught out in those in the middle of the water. At least as a human. As a Deku, it's no problem. So there's a golden chest over there. We are a Deku. Let's go get it. And fly, fly, fly. Yep, we can make it. All right, I believe in this it should have a key since it's a min... Yeah. If you see a small chest with gold lining on it, that means it's usually going to have a key in it. Or almost always, really. So let's see. I saw... Yep, there is a nest like that up there. Whenever you see one of those, you're generally going to want to shoot it. It'll either release an enemy, a rupee, or a stray fairy. All right, so let's get it. There we go. So let's see. Where can we go to next? I think we can make it to that door up there. So let's try for it. Let's see. Is this? Nah, it couldn't be. Uh, yeah, just making sure. I for a second there, I thought the clock was moving at regular speed again, and it forgotten. Oh wow, it actually is. Oh wait, I actually can't tell if it is or not. I was thinking, is this the mid boss? I don't think it is though. Oh, by the way, to kill these turtle things, just get inside a flower and come up as it passes over you. You hit it, basically it's soft underbelly. Let's identify these, by the way. As a snapper, the way those things move, they never expose the weak part of their body. So, that's basically your hint that the weak part of their body is underneath them. Tattle, stop locking on. All right, so you just gotta hit him from underneath. Your timing doesn't have to be perfect on you, you just have to hit him slightly and it'll kill them instantly. So, don't worry about that. And... And you don't even have to do a full shot. You you can only even do a mini shot, and it'll still work. Let's see. From this, I don't think we get the dungeon item because it seems really early in the dungeon for us to be getting that. Um, are there any stray fairies in here? No. So let's get that. Find out what it is. It's the map. So this was completely optional. In fact, I find myself rarely using the map. I use the compass more, but I guess coupled with the map, the, the compass is best coupled with the map. So, that whole thing was pointless. And there you just heard my ringtone. Or at least my uh, text message tone. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling kind of really into this Let's Play, so I decided to put it as that. <laughs> Oh, now my dog's barking. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if my ringtone actually will pick up on the recording. Eh, whether it does or doesn't, oh well. So here we have this locked door. Let's just open it up now that we can. Let's see, can a Deku push this? This looks pretty light. Let's, well, they'll just stand there and press A to grab it. You may notice that in this game, it has Majora's Mask on each of these movable things instead of... Uh, but I can't, I can't remember what symbol it had in Ocarina of Time. I just remember it was something else. So, let's move along this path. You see, this is what you have to do, is move along this harder path. And I believe this enemy will contain a stray fairy. Skulchula. It's easier to fight these guys as a human, by the way. At least I think so. Or maybe not. I suppose the Deku sh uh, snot shots uh, do kill it instantly. So... Yeah, as a Deku, this is probably easier. I made a mistake switching to human. Oh yeah, this did contain stray fairy. So we're one third of the way through the stray fairies, and there and you may notice. Well, you probably didn't see it because I haven't shown it yet. Underneath there, there's a bubble containing a stray fairy. If we put on our mask, it will not fly to us. No, 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 no. Uh, this is actually pretty bad. I better not get a game over from this. Well, I have a uh, spare fairy in a bottle, so I'll survive. Oh, that was kind of embarrassing. Let's just take the Deku mask for this one to keep it safe. So, what you have to do here is move this so it's like so. So you have a faster path to cross to here. Then you become human, get out a Deku stick, 
and you're gonna need fire. That's pretty much all the Deku Sticks are used for, is transporting fire. And by the way, the moths that are drawn to the flame, those moths can damage you, so you do not want to keep in one place with the fire for long. They will follow you, and if you stay in one place, they'll damage you. So yeah, move quickly with this. Not to mention your Deku Stick will burn up after too long. And to conserve Deku Sticks, after you light something, always just use your sword and it'll uh, remove your Deku Stick without letting it burn up or breaking it. And I believe there's a second area, yep, an area up here to use your Deku Stick as well. No, 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 bad, bad, no, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna die from this? Really? <sighs> Let's play Curse. Wow, that's actually a pretty violent looking death. Oh, good thing I got that straight, that spare fairy. So, <laughs> well, that's actually kind of embarrassing. But, nothing that can be done about it now. Let's just go back and try this again. Okay, I'm not sure why that didn't light it, but let's try again. You know, normally I'm actually really good at this game. Uh, why did the moss come from that direction? That is cheating! <sighs> Alright, what the- Oh, I forgot. You have to do the whole roll then jump thing. Otherwise you won't make the jump, because when you roll and jump, you go a bit further. So, yeah. Alright, move away, boss. Alright. Well, we'll worry about that area there later. For now, let's go here and restore our health. And please say I made it. Yes, I made it right in the center. Very nice. Let's see, how long has it been? 12 minutes, not bad. So, um, okay. I'm not sure why this locked us in. I'm guessing this is just the compass room. So, ow. What was that I just heard? That did not come from the game. Oh! Sorry if you've been hearing a bit of double sound with the game. But it turns out I left my TV's uh, volume on. Normally I just have it playing through my computer so it doesn't have double volume over the recording. So that's what I heard. So I apologize for that. <laughs> so let's just get here. It should be the compass. And I really do love how the Deku looks when he gets the giant treasure chest. And yep, I knew it. It's the compass. Now let's see. That second area we opened up by burning the spider webs should contain another locked door area up ahead, and it should contain the mini-boss for this dungeon. This is a very short dungeon if you know what you're doing, so yeah. Alright, let's... Oh, wait a minute. There are... Uh, honeycombs, or something of the sort above these. Let's see what that contains. Oh wait, no, 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 no! Oh, it contained a bee! It's a bee, it's a bee! Why isn't it dying? Die! It reflected my snot, but it could not survive. I'm not sure how... I'm actually not sure that why that happened. It did reflect the snot bubble, but... I thought it was only Skulchulas that were able to do that. Oh, well, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's just get back up here, and not jump like as a Deku like an idiot. Oh wait, no, I was supposed to stay Deku, whoops. Because I want to hit that other honeycomb beneath there. Because I think that one will contain a straight fairy. So let's try again. And this will be, the shooting thing will be much easier in a, in a little bit. Oh, I was right, it did contain a straight fairy. So, yeah, shooting, we'll no longer have to do it with snot momentarily. And it'll be a lot easier to aim. In my opinion, at least. So, where's the fairy? Oh, there he is. Or she is. Alright, 6 out of 15. Let's see. Okay, we got a few Deku Babas here. No big deal. We can get a Deku Nut and Deku Stick for free. Let's see, was there something back there? Oh, yeah, there is still a fairy in this room, isn't there? Because the, whatchamacallit, the bubble. Be careful, I sense evil here. Oh, yeah, I remember this room. Alright, so a lot of these guys are going to show up in this room. I'm going to want to be careful about that. They can do a decent amount of damage if you let them. So, um, what you're going to have to do here is, for one, you're going to want to kill them all. 
And as another thing, you're gonna want to light this room up. So, uh, let's see, light this one. Ah, stop attacking me, stop attacking me. Where is the other lantern thing? Oh, there it is. Uh, and move. Keep moving, keep moving. Why aren't you lighting it? And my stick burned up. Die! Die, all of you! Die! Die in a fire! Die in something! Where are you all? Where are you? There you are! I will kill you all! Alright, that did it. And if you kill all of them, you will get a treasure chest. And that treasure chest contains... Let's see. Uh, open it. Can't really see much. Uh, open it! Open it! Oh! Opening's on the other side. <laughs> Whoops. So inside is another stray fairy. These are actually pretty easy to find in this first dungeon, so you're not going to have to worry about that too much. Especially if you're following along with this, you should be able to find them all. So, one here, one here, and one by the door. That did it. That'll unlock your way forward. And by the way, that will not kill all the dark little guys. You'd think that light would kill them, but it doesn't. So, um, going to check for stray fairies here again. Uh, none in this room, so we're good. And okay, for a second there, I thought my cat was doing something. So, um, let's go get to this other flower. Made it. Like I said, that Deku Playground thing is very helpful with all this stuff that happens in this part of the game. So you definitely want to do that. It makes for great practice. Especially if you've never played this game before. But I have played this game before, so I'm pretty well used to it by now. But still, practice never hurts. Plus, you're going to get something very good for being in all, on all three days. Trust me on that. So, I hate these guys here, but don't want to deal with them. But I guess if I were to shoot myself out to destroy them, it would just um, make so I had to go fall down and start over again. So, let's go to this next area. Let's see, where is this exactly? Oh, okay. So, there's a fairy over here that we can get. I don't know why they put it in a bubble if it was just going to be right within reach, but okay, no complaints. And let's see. Oh, yeah, definitely going to want to press that button there. Um, is there s oh, yeah, that's the way there. Okay, so going to want to press this button. <laughs> Excuse me again. And that creates a shortcut to this part of the dungeon. So, very useful. That means we're officially halfway through. So, let's go through here. Um, and we're on the upper level. Bass, get down from there! Bass! Eh, she's just been interrupting every time. Maybe I should just put her outside whenever I record. Eh, I don't know. But I believe right here... You may notice this is the room we were in before. The one with the four deadly flowers and the thing in the middle. Bass, what is it? Now oh, whatever. Right here should be the mid-boss of this area. Yep. It is, um... What's it called? It's not a Stalfos. Stalfos are the skeleton ones. Uh, Dinalfos. Okay. What? You don't even know about the Dinalfos? Well, sorry, my memory isn't perfect. Use targeting methods while defending and watch out for its fiery breath. Not as bad as they were in... Well, I guess in Ocarina of Time you didn't have to deal with them as a kid, so they couldn't burn your shields. Uh, no, don't... Uh, unlock off of him. Alright. Nope. Oh. And you can't block his fire attack, so just hit him, back off when he does his fire, and then jump attack him. And if that doesn't work, just back off again. Continue to try to jump attack and block his, his attack and stab him when you get the chance. And with that, he is down. And that will give us our da -da -da, uh, item for this dungeon. Let's see, does he drop anything good? No. Well, let's just go get our item. What is it? What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be my favorite item in this game? Yes. Yes, it is. You got the hero's bow. And by far, this is my favorite weapon. It is my weapon of choice. I always like to keep it equipped. It is very useful if you ask me. So... Let's go outside and give it a try. Alright, just gonna destroy these first. And let's fire our arrows. The reason why this is my weapon of choice, I'm afraid to say this on recording, but I usually... 
don't miss. You see, normally I'm actually really good with this, and I almost never miss with it. And that's not an exaggeration, I really don't miss with this thing normally, but, um... Eh, this is a, this is a let's play, things will go wrong, so don't expect that. Oh! Now oh, it's almost night of the second day, and it looks like it's almost time to end off the episode! And you may have noticed that cre creates a way over to that above area. Over there, best to be quiet. The area um, above the little eye thing we shot. It creates a path over to that. And it is another shortcut to this part of the dungeon, so useful. Let's see, wait. Oh, yeah, this is a new area. Oh, we have a new enemy here. Whoa! I meant to hit him? That works. <laughs> you gotta love the way he looks. That's a gecko, and it's pretty angry. It's pretty weak, too. It really, it, sh it shouldn't be making a fool of you. So, all you really do is attack it. I recommend jump attacking it. And it, this thing has a second part to its fight. It gets on one of these turtles. And you just gotta love the way this thing is. And you just go under here, you should be fine. And attack it the way you would any other turtle. And then it goes up on the roof. And you're gonna wanna shoot it down with your bow. Or just aim with tattle if you're lazy. I think you can hit it. No, you can't hit it a second time. So as soon as you hit it, you're gonna want to go back into your flower and hit him again. So um, let's see. I don't know why this turtle he's on is so much stronger, but it is. And you can just by aiming at him automatically with tattle it makes things considerably easier. I normally don't aim with ta with uh, tattle with the bow though, but. Chances are, during this Let's Play, I'm going to be doing so quite a bit. Let's see. Ah, oh, missed. Oh. I hate when he st stops when you don't expect to. Take it. There we go. And the turtle just disappears with him. And a frog appears. You're gonna want to remember where all these frogs you see are. Trust me on that. So, with that, we have unlocked the uh, way through here. And we get... A very special looking chest. <coughs> ah, sorry. What could be in it, you may ask? We have the boss key. Now you can enter the chamber where the boss lurks. And, let's see. I think what I'll do is I'll try to get, um, at least to the boss in this episode. So, with that, let's head off, and all that's really left to do. We can take a look up our, at our map here. Let's see, there's still a couple treasure chests to get. All on this floor, so we're good there. So let's head across. Actually, let's just take the shortcut we just opened up down this way. And all that's really left is getting to the boss and collecting those last few stray fairies. But I'll definitely collect the stray fairies before getting to the boss. Otherwise, it'd be kind of pointless because you'd have to go through the whole dungeon again to get to them. So, um, let's see, I believe we have to go over this way. So, as you can see, the shortcut we made is very useful. And let's see. Uh, -huh, that is not lit. So, where are we supposed to go again? Oh, I was in the right place. Okay. What you have to do here is just go over here. What's Tal have to say? Oh, that's where she's... Look, from here we have a better view of the shrine below. Well, notice how there's a fire here, and there's an unlit torch here, and we have a bow, so we can shoot through the fire and light our arrows. Okay, how is that not hitting it? It's hitting it! You can see that, right? It's making a clanking noise! It should be lighting it. Um... Maybe you have to look at it with Tattle first? Um, I'm not sure why it isn't lighting. I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. Um, I can't think of anything else that's supposed to happen. Uh, hmm. Oh, I'm officially confused with this. I'm gonna keep trying at it though, and I'll cut ahead if it was entirely pointless. Oh, there we go. 
Well, apparently you have to hit at the base of it, and what that'll do is it'll purify all the water in the temple. So yes, very useful, and also required. So, two birds with one stone. Alright, so let's just time our jump and get over onto this. One thing you have to do here, you have to use this new fire to light something else. And this shot, I can usually get pretty easily, but I know I'm going to have trouble with it now. Just stay trained on that pedestal there. When you pass through the fire, just hit it. Or you can miss like me. So this is probably going to take me a while, so just cutting ahead if this fails. And it failed. Cutting ahead. There we go. Got it. So you have to light that, and I'll open something. That'll open the way forward. So I believe that is required. So let's just hop off this side. We do have to hop onto the other side, but first, let's just make this easy by becoming a Deku. And jumping up and flying over to that little button over there. This will be a perfect time for me to explain. Dekus cannot press buttons. So you're gonna be have to be you're gonna have to be in human form to press buttons. Remember that. And that opens a treasure chest over there. So let's just hop down into the not poisonous water and go get it. Alright, Deku Baba is pointless. Honestly, these enemies, the Deku Babas are usually just there to give you items like Deku Sticks or Deku Nuts, whatever. Either way, that's pretty much all they're there for. They're not really a hazard. Alright, so that gets you another straight fairy for hitting that button. And let's see. Let's forward through here. Um, before going forward, actually, I want to go somewhere else first. Backward. So let's go down. And um, I believe these flowers are perfectly safe now. Yep. So I believe we go this way. And... Oh. Die. And let's see. Yes, this is the right one. So in here where that stray fairy was that we couldn't get before, we still can't hit it. So what you have to do is um, swim under here and pop it. And pop it. There you go. Now we have our 10th stray fairy. So, I say we now go back to the beginning of the dungeon and get the stray fairy that was in there. By the way, you can play the Song of Soaring in dungeons in order to uh, soar to the entrance of the dungeon. Very useful. Alright then, let's find out where that other stray fairy was. Wait a minute. Did we get the other stray fairy? No, there's another one. So, let's get out our bow again, which I wasted most of my ammo trying to get that one thing. Oh, it was that obvious, really? I can't believe I missed that. <sighs> there... The thing I was looking for was this treasure chest. This contains our 11th stray fairy. Yeah. Hopefully you're watching, if you're playing along, you're watching the full video before following what I say. In that case, you wouldn't have wasted your time by moving, having to go back for that. So, let's move forward again. By the way, something very useful about the bow is the fact that, um... Did it do, what does it do exactly? Uh, it kills Skulltula instantly, even through their skulls. So, yeah, very useful. Um... I'm off screen. I'm going to go around to each of the various areas of the temple, make sure I haven't missed any stray fairies. I really should learn to keep better track of them. What the? That was weird. Okay, I decided to not go around each of the areas of the temple just because I'm lazy, and I think the rest of the fairies are in the area ahead. So we should be good. So let's just go over to this area here. Wait, did I just make a wrong turn? I think I did. Um. Well, I usually don't have to get out the map for something this simple. Oh, okay. I still have no idea where I'm going. Let's try it this way. Alright, let's see. Yeah, this is the right one. 
Alright, I'm pretty sure the other four stray fairies are in here. Let's pop that one in there, put on your, your fairy mask, and it'll fly right to you. And let's see. I believe the other stray fairies are along the areas over here. Yep. So that's another one. Two more to go. Let's try killing off a couple enemies. This will give me the perfect example of how the Skulltula die instantly to your arrows. It's kind of cool how it pins them to, a to the wall right before they burn up. I guess it's kind of hard to see on with the low quality of my capture card, but oh well. It does happen, I promise. At least I think it does. Always look like it to me. And... Let's see. I'm actually, at this point, just hoping that the other straight fairies... Oh, there's one. Are in this area. So, let's hit that bubble over there. Or completely miss. Wow. There we go. Alright, let's hope that isn't the last of the stray fairies in this area. If it is, I will be kind of sad. And... is it? Is, is it? Uh... No, it is not! Perfect! The last of the stray fairies are in this room! So... Just to be a jerk, I'm going to end the video off here because this has gone way over what I planned it to be. And we have one stray fairy to go. I think this is a horrible area to end it off. That's why I'm going to do it. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to think through this logic. I'm ending the video off here. This has been Wentis. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comments are always appreciated. Bye.